Okay, so split the section. I'm kidding. Split the sections. I'm going to take this piece and just put it over here. If you have some type of clips, I would definitely use those. But if not, so. And then I have a long piece of Kanakalon here. And I'm going to place the middle of it right in the center of that part. Take this side. And then take this other side. Grab my rubber band. And just pull on this if it decides it wants to roll up. and tight okay so split that hair back in half your hair your real hair and make sure your real hair is also smooth if it's not smooth place that fake hair over like try to place it over your real hair And then twist but as you you can twist straight down like a normal two strand twist but Senegalese twist you twist as you turn so twist turn twist turn twist separate twist twist Twist, twist, crossing over. And then you do like that the whole way down. And when I get to like the end of my hair where I see my hair, I take some more. I take more edge wax and put it on my fingers and put it on my hair. Put it on that section so my ends are aligned. The next one for you guys. And I'm going to take some of that cream. And I just added some of the oil. I'm going to add some more at the end of my hair. I'm actually kind of liking this avocado oil. And I think I also like the fact that I can pour it out of the bottle. Make sure you guys focus on the ends because those get dry the fastest. When I take out this, um, this style for good, I'm definitely going to give my hair a trim. I haven't like trimmed my hair or cut my hair since the beginning of this year and I think I need it so taking that Murray's edge wax and getting it all nice and spread out and I'm gonna put it on the perimeter just over here 
if you natural girls like are watching this and you have a itch control you actually like let me know because usually for my edges i use gorilla snide and eco styler gel but i know like for doing twists with nice parts or braids with nice parts like it's always really cool looking and it makes your hair look sleek when you have like that edge control so what edge control do y'all like because i'm not the biggest fan of this one it's giving me some waves so see my waves okay so i'm gonna split this section in half My pieces of hair are already sectioned off because I already had this style. I'm just trying the rubber band method, but you literally just need a little piece. Like break off little pieces, little sections. It's really not that much hair. So, you have it split in half. But the middle right in the middle close it up that ultraless band personally I like black and brown hair but if you don't and you're using like some type of color I would definitely cover your hair try to cover your hair with the fake hair if it's just too much of a difference for you and you don't like it Personally, I do not mind, but this is just for people who kind of want that coverage, especially if you're using like a platinum blonde hair or something, then I could definitely understand. So take it, twist it, flick, flick it a flick of the wrist. And already, like I can tell y'all, my hair already feels tight like it's not loose it's not coming off but it's tight but I can also tell that it's not damaging either like sometimes people braid your hair too tight and you know like Jesus like my hair is about to be breaking off and damaged but it gives just the right of tightness and that's why I also like these ultraless bands because if it becomes too tight or too distressed they'll just break so I'm getting to the ends of my hair and I'm just going to add some and it kind of straightens when I add it and uh, yeah just twist it down. And then I braid the very end 